It's so great to have you all here today. I'm so grateful for you. And also, I want to thank you for having an interest in drums at our church. It is such a blessing, and it's what makes our church so unique and so special. So thank you so much for joining in. I'm going to assume if you have come across this video, you are either currently a drummer, or maybe you are someone who has been watching us and like, man, I'd love to drum, but I don't know what I'm doing. So this is for you guys. We are going to go through each of the main parts of the Mass. I'm going to show you an easy version and a more difficult version for you to play off of, and then there will also be an opportunity for you to play with the track. So this is for you guys, really just to practice throughout the week if you're able. I've had <laughs> questions from parents over the last couple of years saying, hey, can you show my kid how to do this or that? And I thought, you know what, this might be an easier way to do it. This way I'm accessible whenever you want, whenever your child wants to watch this video. So I encourage you to do that. Also, if you are a new drummer, please, please, please go over these videos before trying to play it at mass. It will help the choir out a lot, so please keep that in mind. Um, as much, you know, we love having drummers, we love having new drummers, but we wanted to provide a little bit of a structure with that. So background on me with percussion, I've been playing drum set for over 12 years now. I also have a jazz background and a world percussion background. So when I started playing hand drum at St. Peter Claver five years ago, um, you know, it wasn't a super difficult transition for me. However, for a young person, I can understand how it might be a little daunting, a little difficult, and a little scary with the choir. And some of the beats are very difficult. So if you are a young person and you are learning all these swing beats, these um, southern gospel blues beats, you know, kudos to you all because these are very difficult beats to learn for some of the songs. So I'm really excited to share with you some knowledge that I have just from my percussion background. I'm going to share with you all some tips and tricks. Um, it's going to be awesome. But again, I encourage you to go through these videos <laughs> before trying to play to mass. Um, or if you are drumming with us already, this is just kind of maybe a way to freshen up and just kind of go over some stuff if you're struggling. Now also, in terms of practice, you don't need a drum to practice on. When I was growing up, again, I'm a set player. I didn't have a drum set, so I would literally practice on pillows. Like, you can literally practice on anything. So don't freak out if you don't have a drum on you. It's no big deal. But anyways, I'm going to share all those great tips and stuff. But for today, I'm just going to share one of my biggest tips, and this is to pay attention to Lenny. So the drums along with Lenny are the metronome to the choir, basically meaning that we keep everyone else on beat. So if we are off beat, we have a high potential of making everyone else go off beat. So pay attention to Lenny. Um, that is how I know sometimes I will be, or maybe you've noticed I tap my foot while I play. I keep that foot tapping with how fast Lenny is playing on the piano. So if you're able to do that, you will be able to stay in tune you will stay on beat, you will not play the choir off beat. So keep that in mind. Lenny is your lead, we are not the lead for the meter. Now if Lenny is not there, that is a different story. That is when you gotta figure out your beat. I'm gonna actually show some really great ways to <laughs> deal with that. Um, you know, I, I have also mentioned, you know, Saturday masses are when we don't really have as many drummers. I have sometimes drum at that. If you want a challenge, I really encourage you to try to play at a Saturday night mass because it is a little bit more difficult, but it also challenges you to play sometimes without Lenny, and so it is really good practice. So if you're watching this, you're like, man, I want to play. I The easiest mass to play at will be your Sunday at 10 a.m. Sometimes, again, Lenny, sometimes like, on Saturday, but not always, but Saturday would be a more challenging mass to play at. So I really encourage you to check that out. But anyways, I'm so excited to go on this journey with you all. I hope you all enjoy it. We have been so blessed to have more drummers come up over the last years, and you know, it is really difficult for me to teach while filming to have the cameras right now too. So I thought, you know what, this is a great way to share with you all. So again, I'm very excited for this journey. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me individually at Mass. Um, have your parent message me on Flock Note, whatever the case is. I would love to address any questions. But thank you so much and look forward to this journey. See ya.